Vince Russell here with Arkansas Drone Solutions. I want to do a video to talk about the differences and similarities of the Phantom 4 Multispectral Drone and the Phantom 4 RTK Drone. Starting off with the Phantom 4 Multispect, it has the GPS unit on top, but it also has a sunlight sensor that will adjust for different uh, light uh, uh, situation so if you're one day sunny and the next day's cloudy it'll, it will adjust for that as well as the software now the phantom 4 multi-spec uses the ground station pro you get one year of ground station pro with the the unit itself you can do your planning on the ground station pro executing it uses the, uh, the rtk with from an entry up server or you can use the the ground station the drt K2 ground station unit with it. Now both of these use the, the Phantom 4 battery. The airframes are the same. They're the same airframe as the Phantom 4 with the addition of the antenna and the sunlight sensor on this one. Now the Phantom 4 RTK has the standard 20 megapixel camera on it as the Phantom 4 Pro does. It uses a display, the crystal sky type display that is visible in, in sunlight where the the iPad will wash out, so you have to use a sun, uh, sun visor on it. Uh, I really like this. If they had a little bit bigger unit, as far as a screen, it would be really great. If you plan your mission on it, execute it, it talks to the, the base station or your uh, in-trip network. And I usually use a hotspot with my phone with this unit so I can uh, connect to the internet on this one. I, it has the uh, LTE built in, so I don't have to connect uh, using a hotspot. Both of these have been really reliable. In the early edition of the multi-spec, I did have a problem with the unit pausing when it took off, but the latest firmware edition or update solved that problem. Phantom 4 RTKs has been reliable every time I go out. Now, the latest update to the base station create a problem. If you have both units, you would have to update to the Phantom 4 RTK, and then if you wanted to use a multi-spec, you would have to downgrade the DRTK base station to be able to work with us. DJI said that they're aware of the situation and they're going to create a, an update that will solve that problem or uh, in the near future. So uh, if you have a need for any of these units, give me a call at Arkansas Drone Solutions. I'll be happy to talk, talk with you about them. As I said, they're all reliable. Both units are reliable. Uh, the way you use them is a little bit different, but it's, it's good quality from DJI.